Hi guys, welcome to Average American Outdoors. Today we're in Idaho. We're gonna relive some of my childhood memories and hopefully make some for this guy. We're gonna do a little bit of catfishing here on the snake. Come all along and go for a boat ride. Okay. Didn't even get my rig set up yet, and Wyatt's already got one on. Pretty cool. All right, so we're down here on the river at one of my favorite spots because when I was growing up, it was a place I could walk to pretty much from my parents' place. And so I would do that quite regularly during the summers because I didn't have to have boat gas. You don't have to have a boat to go catch catfish. You can do it off the bank just as good as you can off of a boat, but I do like to fish catfish a little bit different than a lot of people. A lot of people like to try to find the deeper pockets and pools and stuff. I like fishing like knee deep to waist deep water. Um, as you can see out here behind me, it's like maybe ankle deep up through these riffles. And we're just kind of on the backside of that where it bottoms out just a little bit. Uh, figured I'd show you guys my setup while I'm out here. It doesn't take anything special. The kid's using a pole from probably 1970 with a matching reel. He'd run probably 20, 25 pound mono on it, about a three foot liter, a barrel swivel, and a two ounce weight. And I'll show you what we got here. All right, so here's my setup. It's a old ugly stick. I don't know, you can tell by the price sticker that's on it. It's been a while, but it's been a good pole. Uh, ugly sticks are good, tough poles. I'm running a number two watt hook and probably about three and a half four feet of leader a barrel swivel and then a little slider with a two ounce weight on it i really prefer the the balls rather than the flats for the weights just because out here on the snake there's a lot of moss and grass i, I don't know what else you'd call it but it gets hung on everything so and then whatever kind of bait shrimp worms whatever cut bait it all works pretty good out here pelicans fish in the shallows we fish in the shallows there's the kids antique fishing pole it probably came out of an auction that my grandpa visited at one point in time. Uh, he was really big on auction stuff, but it's a decent pole. I think it's an old Eagle Claw, probably like a seven footer, but something you can find yard sale, auction, next to nothing. Throw some line on it and go. Here, fishy, fishy. I had like three in the boat by now. I blame you. <laughs> but I've never seen a hook set destroy a real life. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much just roached that thing. No. <laughs> I think Grandpa got his money's worth out of that one. It was like I said earlier, it's probably an auction reel or something. For a little update. The reel that was on the old auction rod, why it went to set the fish on the hook, or yeah, set the hook on a fish, and it straight up seized that reel, just like kink. No really, <laughs> no drag, no nothing. Fish got off, we got our gear in, but we lost the fish. So meanwhile, we changed out the reel because we had a second on a 
smaller ugly stick so we took the reel off of it and put it on that eagle claw it's is a better reel that's a better pull for catfishing change it up <laughs> Again with the workout. You got what? Again with the workout. You get a workout out. Yeah, it's got a pretty good bend in it. Alright, I'm gonna set the camera down and do a little netting. Oh, that's just a little one again. Aww. Little bass or catfish? Catfish. Oh good on. Alright. Grab me that screwdriver and See if I can't get him unhooked again. What do you think? Where'd you put it? It's back there in the back. Alright, there you go. Switch it. So, seeing how we managed to end up with no pliers on the boat for getting hooks out, screwdrivers work pretty good too. Or sticks. Just take it and grab on the inside of the the hook kind of use it as a breakover bar flip it out just like that all right beat it <laughs> got one on and i think we're about to get a double going here there's on <laughs> no little one i think so Little guys, all been about the same size today. It's getting hot. I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to call it. Yeah. yeah. I hate this weather. So, after that last little guy, we've caught, I don't know, three or four, maybe even five of them little ones about that same size. Not quite what we're after. It's starting to get hot. So, I think we're going to wrap it up for this morning and maybe come out again this afternoon and try it when it cools down a little bit. Catch you guys on the flip side.